we talk earlier about doing single point positioning in RTK lib and and then we moved into our data visualization and data quality check now let's get back to again single point positioning we have loaded the uh, observation data in Rhinex observation field now we have to load uh, navigation data in this field so mm, let's browse that file and that file is of WTZZ stations uh, and and the navigation data file for GPS uh, is this which ends with uh, N. Uh, okay, we loaded the mm, navigation data and we have already mm, set the parameter for single point positioning. Uh, uh, then the solution file will be stored with dot pos extension uh, in same directory. Uh, okay, uh, now let's execute. Uh, okay, mm, the processing is completed. And first, let's view the position file. Okay, these these rows contain the uh, input setting we made for the SPP. And uh, okay, here are other informations. Uh, since we did a single point positioning, so Q equals to five. So uh, here is the GPS time for each epoch. The first epoch, the second epoch, and third epoch, and so on. So each row contain uh, position solutions and related informations for each epoch. Uh, okay, so the first column is a GPS time. This column is a latitude latitude value, longitude value, and height value uh, obtained from single point positioning. Number of satellite for that epoch was a nine. And here is the standard deviation, standard deviations value in northing, standard deviation in string value uh, is in this column, standard deviation in vertical component is in these columns and here is the covariance uh, okay covariance value uh, mm, how can I explain this okay I will not explain this northeast east up and up north uh related error uh okay this is the position file and here uh all these are the uh, solution for each epoch okay i will close this now let's view the position solution uh, in a plot okay so let's click this plot button this will launch the rtk plot uh, this is the ground track of our solutions most of the values are concentrated inside this perimeter and some values are very far from the let's say average okay but what we want to see here is the uh, plot for positioning position uh, okay there are three panels the top panel shows the uh, errors in east west direction the mid panel shows error in north south direction and the bottom panel shows error in up down direction 
Uh, mm -mm. Mm, first, let me uh, let me sue the statics. Let's sue statics. Uh, okay, and um, mm, okay, the average position of the average position of uh, uh, that JNSS station is given here. Mm, a latitude value, longitude value, and the ellipsoidal height of value. Since we have more than, okay, we have 2879 solutions. Uh, so the average value of the, all those solutions is this. And this plot shows the mm, uh, okay, deviation of an individual file, individual solution with respect to a average of value. Uh, seeing the um, variation of this plot, we can see here is the jump. And, uh, uh, and the fluctuation is a uh, very high. Mm. Because the standard deviation uh, Okay, standard deviation is within a 49 centimeter in east-west direction. And we can see jump here. Ah, okay, jump here and a discontinuity here. Eh? Mm, okay, uh, in nine hours, we can see the discontinuity in east-west, uh, north-south and up-down component. Okay, what could be the reason? Uh, and the standard deviation is uh, 76 centimeter for north-south uh, component. And, uh, uh, and, but for a vertical component, there is even, there is even higher standard deviations, which is one meter and 73 centimeters uh so okay uh we did the single point positioning mm, this is the uh, uh 24 hour uh, observation data and this is the variation in east west north south and up down component and the standard deviation is shown here mm, and the average position of that stations obtained from one day genesis data is this that means the mm, most probable position of that stations from 24 hour data from genesis observations uh, and by performing a single point positioning mode is this